So we're looking at themes in the Gospels, and one writer, uh, Dr. Bill Uri, writes, Three times in that conversation in John 20, Jesus says, Peace be with you. I don't think he was saying hello. I think he was saying, This is the foundation of reality. Even though you've just been through agony, you've just lost the one you've loved, and you never knew I was going to come back. You're going to be soon under the Roman dictatorship. You've lived under oppression. It's going to get much worse, and I want you to know that I'm here and then when I'm here and I bring fundamental peace I am your joy so that no matter what happens no matter what happens in your outward life no matter what happens in your in your life if you know me there's a foundation of real peace the biblical word is shalom this holistic righteous reign and rule of God no matter what comes down the pike and I bring joy and I'm just I'm not just here to mollify you I'm here to bring you real joy joy that is more than emotion, joy that is a positive understanding that I'm in control all of all the world and that I will let nothing happen to you that doesn't come through me first, Jesus says. I love the way Paul says it when he talks about the fruit of the Spirit. He says when the Holy Spirit comes to fill up Christians' lives, all of you will love. The next word is you'll have joy. And I think that those are inseparable. Of course he adds six other things, but the major thing is that when we, the love of God is shed, and broad in my heart the response is I don't then live by my own understanding of reality which would be probably pretty cynical pretty pessimistic pretty negative but when Jesus is present the only response is I'm at peace he has brought his resurrection power of my life and I have joy I have hope because in Jesus there is no defeat there is no things coming apart he brings all things together holistically completely Dr. Bill Uri. We read in Luke 24, 52, 53, Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Powerful words. So that's some of the lessons that we can learn from the Gospels. So we've looked at a whole raft of issues uh, in the Gospels, uh, a sort of all-round introduction, okay? I just want to say one last thing. The various theories about the Synoptic Gospels, there are many theories. Don't take them all on board. Study them, but don't feel yet you have to take them on board. But we've, we've gone a whole raft. <clears throat> we've looked at the historical reliability of the Gospels, the authenticity of the Gospels, some of the themes at the end of the Gospels. And um, what I would encourage you to do is read widely. I will put a couple of commentaries under uh, this video for you to go and study about the Gospels and some books okay I hope it's been a good introduction for you and I hope it's inspired you to look into the Gospels more alright thank you for listening and take care